Hello, I'm Laura and welcome to this How to Crochet series by Annie's. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to work the half double crochet stitch. The half double crochet is also a little taller or higher than the single crochet. Let's get started. Just as its name implies, the half double crochet eliminates one step from the double crochet stitch and works up about half as tall. Remember, you will never work in the first chain from the crochet hook unless the crochet pattern you are working specifically directs you to do so. We will now begin working row one of half double crochet. Step one, first make a slip knot and chain 13. Bring the yarn once over the crochet hook from back to front, skip the first two chains, and then insert the hook in the third chain from the hook. Remember not to count the loop on the hook as a chain. Step 2. Bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through the chain stitch and up onto the working area of the hook. You now have three loops on the hook. Step 3. Bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through all three loops on the hook in one motion. You have completed one half double crochet. One loop remains on the hook. To finish the row, continue to work one half double crochet in each remaining chain across the row. Bring the yarn once over the crochet hook from back to front. Insert the hook, bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through the chain stitch and up onto the working area of the hook. You now have three loops on the hook. Bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through all three loops on the hook in one motion. Bring the yarn once over the crochet hook from back to front. Insert the hook, bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through the chain stitch and up onto the working area of the hook. Bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through all three loops on the hook in one motion. Now that we have completed the row, you should stop and count your stitches. You should have 12 half double crochets, counting the first two chains you skipped at the beginning of the row as a half double crochet. Turn your work counterclockwise. To work row 2, you need to bring the yarn or thread up to the correct height for the next row. To raise the yarn, chain 2. This is called the turning chain. Like double crochet, the turning chain counts as a stitch in the half double crochet unless your pattern specifies otherwise. Skip the first half double crochet of the previous row. Be sure to insert the crochet hook under the top two loops of the stitch. Work a half double crochet in the second stitch and in each remaining stitch across the previous row. Insert the hook. Bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through the chain stitch and up onto the working area of the hook. Bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through all three loops on the hook in one motion. Bring the yarn once over the crochet hook from back to front. Insert the hook, bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through the chain stitch and up onto the working area of the hook. Bring the yarn over the crochet hook and draw it through all three loops on the hook in one motion. You can continue practicing or fasten off. If you are continuing on, remember to chain two before your first half double crochet. After the last stitch, cut the yarn, leaving a six inch end. As you did when you take your crochet hook out for a break, draw the hook straight up, but this time draw the cut yarn end completely through the stitch. Pull the six inch end to close. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss our new crochet videos coming up. And tell us in the comments how you're doing. Now you know how to chain, single crochet, double crochet, and half double crochet. Do you have a favorite yet? We'd love to know what it is. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.